Right, hey, so uh, this is Josh Cropsey, and I am with Glorio. Yeah. So Glorio, how, where are you at right now? Uh, now I'm a sophomore in IPY. Nice, and what program are you studying? Uh, energy engineering program. Okay, so those of you that are subscribers to my YouTube channel know I like to have some of our former students come back. By the way, Glorio is a, a wonderful student here at ELS. What was your GP, total GPA, do you remember? I guess it was around 3.8. 3.8, yeah, you did very, very well. So I, I guess what I like to do is I like to have former students come in and ask them how it's going at university. So Glorio, how, how is your English uh, working for you over there? You okay? Yeah, I was okay. I didn't actually have that much problem because when I got there, I figured that the English lesson, the English classes that I used to take there were exactly the same here in ELS. Okay. So most of uh, the students that I was I was with here at ELS, they got into a lower level in English, but my my, my English there was uh, my level was a little higher. Okay, good. So I started I started in G12, which is a composi I guess it's composition. Okay. So I did well. And I did a second composition, I did well as well. I even got an award. For, uh, wow! Yeah, I, they awarded me for, they said that I'm writing, it was great. Congratulations! That's <laughs> great, man! Yeah, I'm writing, with, and I had to thank you less because they were the one that told me how to write, because I didn't know that. Excellent. So help people understand, because a lot of, I think, subscribers are students overseas trying to come to university, so you went through what level at ELS? Uh, in ELS, I started in level 102, which is the, the, the second level. Mm -hmm. Beginner. The beginner, exactly. And I did, I went into my, the master level, but I didn't finish the master level because I got the uh, acceptance that you provide really early. Okay. So I chose the YPY. So the whole business is the level that I like the after. Okay. And it was, I didn't have to do the TOEFL as well because I, uh, ELS says the direct path to YUPY. Fantastic. So, so you made it to at least level 109. Yeah. And then you got accepted at IUPUI. Mm -hmm. Then when you went there, now you were talking about the English program. When you went, did you have to take a different English proficiency test as an international student? I had to take one, exactly, okay. right in the beginning of the semester. So they, they require you to go into a special English program, even though you went through ELS, and it's called, what's the program called over there? Well, they have the EAP program, EAP. which okay. is exactly the same with ELS. Okay. So, but, I had, but right in the beginning, they, I had, they had me take a test, like to prove my English proficiency. Okay. And then they put me in the level, like, because the EAP have, level. The EAP level. Okay, exactly. so you still got to get out of their EAP program. Uh -huh. Okay. I had three more, three English classes, well, four English classes that I had to take. Okay. While you're taking the EAP English classes, are you taking like other electives, other classes for your major? Yes, I was taking classes for my major. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're stuck just in English. No. You're taking the, the EAP English classes, but then you're also working on your, your other credits yeah. for your major. But uh, uh, exactly, the class that I had to take, like the, they have all, all the four classes, the four uh, English classes that I took there, mm -hmm. uh, two of them are required. For, okay. Like international students. Any international student. Yeah. Automatically required. Yeah, G12 and W131. Okay. W131, which is composition, and G12 is uh, speech. Okay. Yeah, it's speech communication. Now, did those count toward your credits? Yeah. Or do you have to still take like freshman English, the regular English class? Those two classes count to, to our credit. They are like a general language. Nice. So those count toward your major? Yeah, they count to our major. Yeah. Do they make you take like the normal English track for American students once you get out of the the EAP program, or is it finished for you? Can you move on to your major? There is one more classes that they required, like, uh, it has to be, because the two, the, 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 the four classes that I took, they were, like, international classes. Okay. And they have one more English class okay. that you have to take with yeah. Americans. Gotcha. Exactly. The normal exactly. freshman English yeah. 101. Exactly. And were you okay in there? Have you... I, I haven't taken that yet. Okay. So it's next, next semester. Next semester, exactly. 
Okay, cool. So we'll have to get a report on how that goes. Yeah. I think you're going to be fine, though. I, I will. I will. Yeah. I, I, I was well prepared. So good, I good. So let me ask you this. If giving advice to anyone watching, what do you think are the most important things to, to remember going to American University to be successful? Well, I, the thing is you have to know how to speak because in the engineering field, you have to explain yourself. Okay. You have to tell the people how you came up with results. Okay. So speaking is the very first thing. So come in your last day, you have to work on their, on their speaking. Not to forget that they have to work also in the writing because IUPUI requires a lot of reports. Okay. And every single class that you have, you will need at least to make a report for each class. So each, each, each class. So like learning, writing skills are really important as well. And everything comes along with that. Excellent advice. So you need to be able to speak well yeah. and you need to be able to write well to right. make presentations and to write reports. Thank you, Gloria. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. All right. All right. Thank you.